They fought together as brothers in arms. They died together, and now they sleep side by side. To them, we have a solemn obligation. Admiral Chester W. Nimitz. Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. A date which will live in infamy. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people and their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Our debt to the heroic men and valiant women in the service of our country can never be repaid. They have earned our undying gratitude. America will never forget their sacrifices. President Harry S. Truman. The heroism of our own troops was matched by that of the armed forces of the nation that fought by our side. They absorbed the blows and they shared to the full in the ultimate destruction of the enemy. President Harry S. Truman. Uh, sitting here on the steps of uh, the Lincoln Memorial, looking at the Washington Monument and the reflecting pool, the World War II uh, Memorial is uh, too powerful for words. Just amazing Marines that charged those beaches in World War II that were told you know, they most likely would not even make it out of the landing craft. And if they did, they probably wouldn't even make it past the beachhead. You know, at 17, 18, 19 years old, they, uh, they still charge forward. And I'm so thankful to not only be an American, but to live in this country and to have, even if it would have been my last moment, to have bled and, and died for the ideals that are surrounding us right now. It's a beautiful place, a beautiful country, and you know, a beautiful world because military uh, or not, uh, good people stand up when they need to. So uh, I appreciate all of you for not only joining me on this journey, but for loving and supporting me. And I want to show people that the smallest of steps eventually completes the grandest of journeys and that uh, you might be physically, mentally, and emotionally different, but you can truly come back better and stronger than you ever were before, you know, whatever knocked you down in life. And so uh, thank you for picking me up when I've fallen and uh, helping me you know, with those small steps along the way. And, uh, now I'm thankful to not only be alive, but to sit here and tell you that you know, don't compare your struggles. Everyone's struggle is unique to them and everyone heals in their own time. And if that takes you a day, a year, the rest of your life, that's okay. But uh, just know you can not only make it to the other side of your hardships and your struggle, <clears throat> but that you can even come out on the other side smiling. So thank you all again. Uh, we'll continue working on content, motivation. When I feel like putting motivation out, you know, I struggle and have hard days as well. But uh, it's been an honor. I am very humbled and privileged to have all of you on my side. Uh, you are worth it, this country's worth it. And uh, to live your life and make the best of this rare and beautiful opportunity you have, as hard as it might be, you, know, you are truly worth it. Be worth it to yourself, be worth it you know, to those around you who love you so much, who you love, and uh, live a life worth living. Thank you so much.